in the primaries there was essentially nothing about issues. It was just screaming at each other. Uh, Clinton ended up worse than Trump. Uh, the last couple of days she was just uh, berating him for all his sins. Uh, what about his position on climate change? Uh, what about the danger of nuclear war? Uh, almost nothing. Uh, and meanwhile, the, uh, the journalists, the commentators, the uh, intellectuals watch this and don't say a word about it. But the problem is really urgent. Uh, we could be, uh, with the, uh, just the melting of the Antarctic uh, gla huge glaciers, which is proceeding faster than expected, nobody knows how fast, but it's likely to raise sea level maybe by a couple of feet within the century. Uh, what happens to Bangladesh? Uh, Low-lying plains, hundreds of millions of people. Uh, what happens to South Asia with the Himalayan, Himalayan glaciers melting? Uh, already there are hundreds of millions of people who, in India who don't have adequate water. Uh, what happens when the glaciers melt? Well, I don't think the fault is with science journalists. It's with the media generally. So it's a pretty remarkable fact that uh, the events of COP22, the Morocco meetings, uh, just didn't get reported. Uh, yesterday, I think, was the first time that there was a kind of marginal mention today, another mention, pointing out the insignificant fact that uh, the world is looking to China to take the lead to deal with this problem while the United States is uh, uh, undermining the efforts, which is a pretty astonishing comment on Western civilization, as is the fact that there has simply been no coverage of it. So for much of the public, what they get from the press, not the science journals, is a kind of he says, she says story. So what should I believe? Why, do I, why should I believe these people? Uh, there's also a general uh, kind of, I don't know, disregard of leading to contempt for uh, experts, which include scientists. Why should we believe them? They're always wrong about other things. Why should I believe them? Well, my wife changed my mind. She, um, she's much more, uh, uh, less, much less critical of, uh, she, she's more hopeful about Trump's possibilities than I've been, and I think with some arguments.